and let me just let me let me say a little bit about Candace Owen. Uh, uh, it's, I'll talk about Israel in a minute, but let's let's talk about Candace Owen because it's relevant for this. I mean, I never liked Candace Owen. People always say, oh, she's the star of the conservative movement. She's so amazing. And yeah, being a black female and being willing to say some of the things she's been willing to say about racism in America and about uh, the left, yeah, it was all refreshing. But it never came across as intelligent, well-founded, well-grounded. And now... I mean, she's just, she's just lost it. She's become a mouthpiece for Putin. Here's one of her tweets on March 17th, two days ago. Uh, so, yeah, two days ago. President Zelensky is a very bad character who is working with globalists against the interests of his own people. I will not move one inch away from that assessment, ever, no matter how flowery the media depic depictions of him are. She will never move away from this assessment, no matter what the evidence is. No matter what anybody says. How does, how do, how does she know that Zelensky is a very bad character? No evidence is given. No evidence is suggested. No sources are cited. Working with globalists, I mean, I know there's nothing worse that you can say to somebody other that, more than he's a globalist. Maybe that he's a Nazi, but globalist is like the worst. And who are these globalists? And what is their agenda? And what are they trying to achieve? And how does anything that he did justify a war of aggression by the, by the Russians and the killing of thousands of people in their homes? Nothing. No, she's not suggesting anything. She's completely lost it. And this is not it. This is not ignorance. I think Candace Owen is ignorance. I think she's always been ignorant. I, it's the one thing that's always kind of beat at the back of my mind. She doesn't really know what she's talking about. She mouths certain things. The talking points of the, of the new right. Originally, I think she would basically the talking points of Charlie Cook, the head of Turning Point, and then I think she outgrew Charlie. She got bigger than Charlie. Now, who knows who feeds her this stuff? But it's disgusting. Later that same day, she says, wars are government, mon wars are government run money laundering operations from taxpayers. The job of the media is to make the taxpayer agree to war through aggressive, emotional propaganda. People like me, Russell Brand and Tucker Carlson are enemies of the military industrial complex. Is that the Russian military industrial complex? Because as far as I know, the United States has not gone yet to war and probably will not go. But Russia has. A wars, government run money laundering operations from taxpayers. Is that true of Russia as well as it is of the United States? Or is that just true of people you don't like? Or is that just true of the American government? Now, now she's channeling Murray Rothbard and the anti-war libertarians who hate American wars. I don't think they object much to other people slaughtering each other, but American wars, America is always, always evil. Tucker and Candace are not anti-war. They're anti-America. They're anti-American wars. They have no problem in Russia invading Ukraine. Suddenly Candace doesn't. Yesterday, I think it was yesterday, she tweeted, Ukraine wasn't a thing until 1989. Now, the ignorance here is on multiple levels. 1989 is the day the Berlin Wall fell, but really the Soviet Union wasn't dismantled until 1991, which I think is what she means. But that is a level of ignorance that is interesting. Ukraine indeed was independent pre-takeover by the Soviets. It was uh, within the Soviet Union, uh, a kind of a semi-autonomous zone. Why did Lenin and Stalin even allow for that if Ukraine wasn't a thing? Before the Russian Empire, Ukraine had an empire. 
It basically controlled most of Eastern Europe. There was a period, a thousand years ago. Ukraine's been a thing for a long time. Kiev, indeed, is a much more significant city than uh, in, 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 uh, in uh, if you go back a thousand years, uh, than uh, Moscow. I mean, Ukraine wasn't a thing. Uh, just look at Wikipedia, Candace. But again, she will do anything to undermine Ukraine and to elevate Putin. And that's what's interesting about this. Why? Why is she doing this? What is it about Putin that they love so much? Well, to some extent, it's what people loved, many Germans loved about Hitler, even when they denied they love Hitler. But what they loved about Hitler is that he was anti-left. What they loved about Hitler is that he hated the communists. What they loved about Hitler was his nationalism and his so-called, quote, patriotism. What they loved about Hitler was his muscles, that he was willing to flex them. And now Hitler was a little, you know, weakling, but, but he had muscle people around him. Putin, you know, looks buff. But what they love is their adoration of force, their adoration of muscle their willingness to use it. They deny that they support their positive agenda. In the case of Hitler, you all know the agenda. In the case of Putin, whether it's, you know, it's unclear what his agenda is, but primarily Russian nationalism. What they really love is this, and, and they say this, uh, you know, Tucker Carlson has said, well, you know, Putin doesn't, advocate for critical race theory. He doesn't advocate for, you know, he doesn't try to educate our kids. He would if he took over the United States. Not that I'm saying he will, but, or that he wants to, but, I mean, what they love is his anti-leftist rhetoric. What they love is his nationalism. What they love is, again, his muscle. And they love the invasion why did they love the invasion? Because he stuck it to the West. The West today, in the minds of the Candace Owens of the world, is a symbol of globalism, is the symbol of liberalism. It's the symbol of the left. And anything that attacks the West, anything that attacks the United States, particularly under a Democrat administration, anything that attacks Western Europe is good. I've been telling you this for a long time. That once you place the left as your only target, you will hand over power to evil men. You will end up supporting evil causes. We do not share an agenda with Candace Owens. I do not anyway, maybe some of you do. She is not my ally in any battle, in any fight. She will not lead us anywhere but to hell. She and the whole, you know, the, 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 the Tucker Carlson's and ultimately the Donald Trump's of the world. Yes, they sound good when they attack the left, maybe. But their attacks are meaningless. When they, their ultimate ideas are just as bad in a sense of what they will do to this country. They are not our allies. They are not our friends. We share nothing in common. Nothing. We should stay away from them as far as possible. Candace was also a big vaccine expert. She was anti-vax. She declared... If you remember, I, I mentioned this on, the, on one of my shows, that Big Pharma was the biggest evil in the world. I think now she thinks Ukraine is the biggest evil in the world. Or maybe Biden's the biggest evil in the world. I don't know. But it, it's certainly not. But she used to think it was Big Pharma. Big Pharma. Candace doesn't own the left. She doesn't own the right. She... Uh, 
she's just a pathetic, ignorant evader. She evades reality. She ignores the facts. And her arguments against the left are weak because she has nothing positive to offer except the bromides, the old bromides of nationalism and a kind of xenophobia and a love of Putin. Putin, a thug, nothing but a thug, a KGB thug. But that's what the right is about today. That's what the collectivist right is about. All right. So, you know, that's my little spiel on... She's just horrible. I mean, really is horrible. And and, and this is the queen of... The queen of... Uh, of the right. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show... We make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support. By going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one of those uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Your Own Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and, of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.